And hey folks, happy 4th of July. Hope everyone's uh, having a chill day. Uh, I'm at the shop today. We're open uh, to 12 to 4 today on the 4th. And uh, I got a few people in store. Michael Mondragon is back in store right now. I actually have three Michaels in store with me right now. And then here's two more Mikes. Mike and Mike, say hi to, to these guys. Um, and they are getting ready to uh, do a pack war with a box, a nice red, white, and blue, and yellow, red, but red, white, and blue box of Topps Archives. And the way a pack war works is that, uh, for all intents and purposes, per, uh, all intensive purposes, they split the price of this box, then they each open up one pack at a time, and whoever gets the best card between those two packs gets to keep both packs. And they do that for the whole box. Is that correct? That's exactly how we so, do it. So they're kind enough to say we could uh, we could watch over their shoulders as this goes down. And I'm just going to be here filming and commentating. And Mike, if you want to grab a chair, there's another fold-up chair right there behind I'll the corner. Some useless trivia as well. Useless yeah. trivia, indeed, for, for fake points. <laughs> I like to give away fake points. So here we are. This is a pack war. And this is a fun thing to do with your friends. You can buy packs of cards and, uh, oh, they're mixing them up. I like that. Oh, yeah. See, any, any way to do it, there's no wrong way to collect. Like I've always said, let me stand back here. Anyway. So they each pick a pack. We go fast. Okay, this should be quick. Then they each open that pack. See who has the better cards, and whoever has the better cards wins both packs. Who's it going to be? Look over your shoulder here first. It's not going to be me. Oh, it could be you. Is yeah, that a Jeter? Numbered Jeter right in the first pack. That's nice. Numbered out of 99 with a green uh, logoing on there. Well, that's cool. That's going to take it. So yeah, it this mic right here wins both of those packs. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Where are my glasses? Do you mind holding that for a second so I can sure. find my... So I can actually see what's going on. Archer, Let's go over here. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. two for go. two. He pulls a Renteria. That's a clean on-card autograph right there. Very clean. Mike Styles is getting shut out right here yeah. after two packs, but there are what? 22 packs to go. Uh, 20 packs to go. Are there 24 packs in here. Are there there it is. Oh, yeah, if you open packs. You open four, that's yeah. right. So there's 20 packs to go. What did, what did Edgar Renteria do for the Marlins? Game winning RBI? Game winning RBI. Okay. Game seven. Game there seven. we go. You think of Luis uh, Gonzalez, too. That's right, so that's true. Yeah, here's that Renteria again. This one can be yours. They're pack warring. Just the Canerico Mini. Canerico Mini. I don't know the Let me see that days. Raleigh Fingers card. That is a sick photo right there. That mustache. That's great. Well, you have a mini. You have an you? orange there. What's that orange nope. parallel? That peach parallel. Yeah, there you go. One ninety nine. Limit to one ninety nine. Gotta be worth something. Jonathan Lucroy. Throw in the middle. Huh? Three for three. Oh, Are we gonna so. play mustache tiebreaker? <laughs> mustache tiebreaker. <laughs> That's mustache tiebreaker. We might have to. Yeah. Here, hold that again. I'm gonna turn on my air a little bit more over here. I think we have to go for like that second box. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Phil Rizzuto. Phil Rizzuto. Rizzuto. Fernando Honus Wagner. Those are Z's. I don't know what that is. It's a crazy looking card, but it's nothing. It's just a 
I don't think there's there. So yeah, there. Do you guys want okay. that thing for the yeah wrappers? Oops, the fan's gonna blow them away. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Uh, there wasn't much to it, but nice Ben and Tandy star rookie. I like those cards better when they're autographed. Yeah, but they're still nice. Definitely cool. All right, so that's four rounds, which means eight packs down, which means 16 left, I believe. That's good math. <laughs> I did pass grade school. I'm that's barely smarter than a fifth grader. That's why he runs the show. That's why I run the show. <laughs> the next one. This is a pack war right here. So, like I said, anybody can do pack wars uh, at home with your friends. You just need at least two people. Um, you can do it with more than two people, but you need at least two people. And uh, you can play. You just need two packs minimum. You pick two packs. You each open up one pack. And whoever has the better cards in their pack gets to keep both packs. So a, ra a, a rare draw. Yeah. That was a draw? You call it a draw and we throw it in the middle. Ah, and then who wins that? Then maybe whoever the, wins the next one. Whoever wins the next one gets the draw pack. I like that. See? You can kind of come up with your own rules if you want to a little bit. Let's see. Ted Williams. We are open till no. 4 p.m. today if anybody wants to come by and maybe learn how to pack war. And you can do this with any product. Any product, doesn't matter what year or what price or whatever. Do it with any product, Pack War. Pack Warring is something we've been doing at our shop for many, many years. Let me get a close up on Mike Styles' pack here. Let's see what he gets. Trumbo, Pujols, nice. Baez, nice. Wainwright, Verlander, David Dahl, the 1960 rookie, Noma. And Lou Brock, nice pack. But we get a numbered Jarrell Cotton, number two of 25. Looks like oh, Mike Wang here there. is going no, to. No, but it's it's still yours. Going to take that stack. Nice. That was the draw stack too, huh? Yep. Yep. It had two draws in it. Wow, cleaning up. <sighs> cleaning up. Those are nice cards. I like those colored cards. Let me take a look at that again. Yeah, can I see the back real quick? Then number two of twenty-five on that. Nice. Uh, we're still due one more autograph, I believe. Correct? Yeah. It's not here. Not here. Not here. Okay. I don't think any of these are numbered. Nope. Another drop back. I'm seeing somebody's commenting about National Treasures. Someone says, I got a case of National Treasures. So did my friend. We did a case war, wow. and he won the case. Whoa, wow, whoa, wow. what? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's gnarly. I don't even know if that's true, but if it is, that's pretty gnarly. There's, there's the card we're all looking for. <laughs> Rob Manfred. Wow. <laughs> oh, and here's another spectacular stash right here. Goose Gossage, look at that. I was kind of trying to rock that for a little bit. <laughs> Couldn't quite get it that thick, but I might have to give it another go. Definitely between him and Raleigh Fingers for best mustache. I don't know, man. Don Mattingly's got a good one. Let's see Donnie, Donnie Baseball's mustache. Oh, yeah. That's kind of what I'm rocking right now. Hold on. Hold on. Look at me and Donnie Baseball. Get the other auto? Yeah, kind of. Blue, 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 All right. Blue Brock. Why did you get it? No, but I got this. <laughs> Number two. Um, well, Jeter one? retrospective. Yeah, that yours, I think. Kluber out of 75. Yeah. Let's see the front of that blue. Nice colors in these. Yeah. Is that going to take it again? Which? The Jeter? The Jeter or the Kluber Jeter out of 75? The Jeter probably takes it. The Jeter? This number's not numbered or nothing. Yeah, oh. You guys, what do you, what's the call? Your call. Well, just keep the pack that you had, and that'll stay in the middle. Draw. 
well, draw, but you keep what you got on something like that. Yeah, okay. just get something. We can't really decide. Okay. So. so it goes to your own stacks. I gotcha. Yeah. See, there you go. There you go. What's up, Justin? Happy 4th of July to everybody. We're here at the shop today. Hope everyone's having a fun 4th of July. Get it? No. We're doing some pack wars. We're looking for one more autograph in this box. Who's going to hit it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That killed me right there. That is awful. It's like... <laughs> Oh, man. Scott, uh, I was about to freak out. Right, That's a well, cool looking card, man. Stuff. If this was signed. Yeah. So these folks, just so you know, these are machine printed autographs. It's part of the yeah. card design. So that's not a real not a real autograph. We were hoping it was, but a lot of the uh, Topps card designs feature machine printed autographs. But one of these packs should have an actual real autograph in it. Who's going to get it? Is it going to be Mike or is it going to be... Mike. Not me. Mike. Mike. <laughs> not this no. Mike. Nope. And definitely not me, Eric. Let's see. Here we go. Is it going to be in this guy on the left? Back. Oh, it's going to be over here. It's supposed to be. Who is it? There it is. Orlando Arcia. On card. Tops Archives. Fan favorites. Autograph. That's nice. Not thrilling, but uh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you can name the movie that's from, you're no. real. You're real good. Nice, not thrilling, but nice. And actually, we were talking. If Bobby's still on here right now, uh, we were talking about this actor at dinner last night. You said Captain America looked like him while he was on the airplane. Um, no, I'm. Still so it's a like. small. See, he had, a, he had a small role in History of the World, Mel Brooks. You know that movie? Yes. Mm -hmm. Treasure Bath! There's another quote. Anyone? Um, how about Dom DeLuise as Caesar? Remember that? Oh, oh okay. Remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yep. That's a deep cut. Yeah. And he bring they they're bringing him gifts, and they bring him this this bath, and he says it's nice, not thrilling, but nice. And then the guy says ah, but to fill the tub. And then they open up this curtain and they have a stack of gold and they start pouring gold to blue. And he says treasure bath. <laughs> Anyways. Uh. Uh, if you would have said Captain Chaos from Cannibal Run, I don't know. <laughs> here's another good mustache. Here, kind of looks like my mustache. Hold on, I gotta kind of look this way now. Take off my glasses, maybe. I need a hat. A little bit, a little bit like Mike Piazza. <laughs> uh, so that's a pack war, folks. That was fun. Thanks to Mike. Not not so fun for me. Not so fun for you. You More got kind of owned on that one. I'm yep. sorry. Uh, Mike Wang did all the owning. Yeah. And Ooh, uh, Mike Mondragon did a lot of watching and supporting and cheering on. Yep. <laughs> <All right. laughs> kind of looked like that. There's <laughs> uh, the stacks. <laughs> Here, what is this? Just for you. No, that this is my stack. That's his stack. Oh, <laughs> sometimes that happens. Sometimes that happens in a pack war. You get real them. lucky, and you end up with the bigger stack of the two. Where's the other on it? There it is. Cemento Rio and something in there. That's alright. What's up, easy one, two, three? What's up, chop till I drop? Mm, who else is out there right now? Justin, if you're still out there, what's up? Hope you guys are having a good day. Um, major baseball cards asks, why do I like Ricky Henderson? What is not to like, my friend, exactly? Um, you know, he's uh, contrary to, contrary to what... Um, Anthony Rizzo says, Ricky Henderson is the all-time 
greatest leadoff hitter. Um, <laughs> Rizzo's done it for, what, a week? Yeah, right, exactly. Talk to me in 20 years. Um, R- Ricky Henderson is the all-time leader in career stolen bases. Ricky Henderson is the all-time leader in single-season stolen bases. Ricky Henderson is the all-time leader in leadoff home runs. Um, he's just a goat. Ricky Henderson is, is probably a, one of the greatest of all time. Definitely, not probably. Okay, look up who is leading the AL in steals right now. If I'm not mistaken, a couple weeks ago, it was Cameron Maben with 24. That tells you where the running game. Right. He, he changed the game. Yeah. I remember uh, Burt Blylevin one time walked oh, him, and he, goes, and he told Ricky Anderson, he goes, just take third. Because <laughs> he just didn't want to deal with him. <laughs> take third so I can watch you. Yeah. yeah. That's how that's how he changed the game. Uh, do you know how no, big Ricky Henderson's yeah. record was for most stolen bases in a season? What it was? One hundred and fifty-one. I thought it was one hundred and thirty. One hundred thirty. I thought I thought it was. Correct me. You guys correct me on that no. at all? Ricky Henderson's uh, single season stolen bases. I don't remember what the total number was. I thought it was one hundred and thirty. I could be wrong. Can yeah, we, I don't. I don't know. What you I'm gonna hop about, on Google? Yeah. You gonna hop on Google for yeah, me? One hundred and thirty. Eight. What's up? He's gonna crack his box. So. What's up, Austin? Are you still up in here? We're uh, hanging out, doing some trivia, doing some pack wars. Hope you're having a good Fourth of July, buddy. You gotta come by the shop and sling some webs around here. Get some packs. Yeah, one thirty. Yes. So I was correct. Ricky Henderson stole a. Cur- a cur- an all-time high 130 stolen bases in a single season. It's almost like you one a dance game. It's sports. less than one a game. And yeah, it. Some people are lucky to steal. It's steal crazy. One a season. He's awesome. <laughs> He's awesome. And I, and also I loved the A's colors. That forest green with the gold and the white logo. That's why I bought myself a hat last month for my birthday because they're just rad colors. But uh, he's awesome. There was the Ben Tint. Yeah. Now these guys are. Uh, just up my Mike's just box. opening up a second box just for fun. Yeah. Somebody asked me what I use to hang the bat tubes on the wall. We have uh, slots in our walls here, so we just have little hooks that kind of fit into the slots, and then we can hang the tubes on there. Um, but other than that, if you uh, you can go to Home Depot or Osh and just buy some uh, hooks uh, that you can excuse me screw into your wall. And that'll work. Yes, Austin, you're still here. He says, yeah, I got to see the shop sometime soon. Yes, you do, man. Come on by. We'll have a good time. We'll uh, get you opening up some packs. We'll sling some webs all over this this shop. <laughs> so I play softball on a team that with a bunch of guys that have, have nicknames, and one of the guys is named Spider-Man. Uh-huh. What's, your, what's your nickname? My nickname is Card Shop. Wow, that's original. Yeah. Um, so far, I've I've had many nicknames, but that seems to be the one that's being used most frequently. I don't know how Spidey got his nickname. I haven't asked him that question. Uh, if it's a short story, which it probably is not, but if it is a short story, maybe maybe uh, he could type it into the the thing here. Otherwise, save it and we'll talk about it when he comes to the shop. Bo Jackson. Yeah. I love those 1960 designs, man. Those well, that's great. why I like this. Yeah. The, the tributes, or the uh, archives. archives. Yep. Dylan says, because he used to wear Spider-Man arm sleeves. And you're right, Austin, I cannot forget Zello. So, so you're right, Zello was one of my nicknames. Because of pizza place. Because I was line. wearing a hat. One of the first yeah. games I played, I was wearing a Zello hat. Uh, I think the first game I played, I was, I was. Andy called me the Unabomber because apparently he thought <laughs> I had a big beard and nobody knew me yet. So he said, "Who's this Unabomber looking guy?" So for like half a minute, I was, I was the Unabomber. Um, but that we decided, I guess, was not 
incredibly appropriate. A little, <laughs> little insensitive, I guess. I mean, that's a great home run. Yeah. Hitting. I know, I know. You know, I do, I do hit only bombs. solo shots. Yeah, right? exactly. Only when I'm at the plate yeah, am I the Unabomber. Right. Except in the well, except in the home run derby, I didn't do so well. I'll be honest. <laughs> but, uh, um, yeah. Call me anything you want. Just don't call me late for dinner. Boom. Back to the box here. You get the Lenny Randall, Lenny 1971 wow. tops on card autograph. Mm -hmm. File him in the where are they now category. Yep. There you go. That's a beautiful design. I like that 71 design. I wish it was him uh, blowing the, the ball foul at the kingdom. <laughs> Did he do that, <laughs> really? That was him. Look at this guy with random facts. Mike's over here, the other Mike. The, I'm opening hockey. Is opening hockey. So if there's any hockey fans out there, I'll be updating you here. We got 2016-17 Upper Deck Ice. He just pulled a pretty sweet jumbo relic. 14 of 15 from Ivan Provorov. Nice. These Upper Deck Ice cards are pretty cool. They are clear acetate. So I don't know if you can see that, but they are see-through. They're made of acetate plastic. And look, here I can see Michael Mondragon through that card. Same Orlando Orsia <laughs> autograph that you did. This one's numbered to 25. Wow. That is kind of a bummer. Yeah. Not that it's numbered out of 25, but it's the same guy. Mm -hmm. But you didn't get that guy, so. I've kind now of. We each have one. Yeah. Now we're both the rooting for Oh, here's Austin. He says, pretty simple. Always loved Spider-Man, so I was determined to get the name. Just put on some Spidey clothes, and the name was born. There it is. So for some people, it seems like the nicknames can come easily. For others, they don't. And that's all right, but that's cool. That's cool that you got the name Spider-Man. And I think, Austin, you've been playing with the team for quite some time, though, too, so... So you probably were, uh, maybe it was a little easier to claim that nickname earlier on. So there's Spider-Man on the team. There's a guy named Batman on the team. There's a guy named uh, Captain America. There is Superman. There is, all oh, Fireball is kind of his own character. Uh, who else? Any other superhero names? We need, like, the Flash. I think Javi, Javi needs to be the Flash because he's super fast. That's what I'm going to suggest. The least desired name, Aquaman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no Aquaman, nope. Uh, how about Thor? Um, somebody with long hair, bulky with long hair, I don't know. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, Beast, you're right. Beast. You're right, there's Beast. So that's like six, there's like six people. There's Wonder Woman. There should be a Lex Luthor. Who who could be a Lex Luthor? Do we have anyone yeah, on the team that villain. that maybe yeah? Uh, any of you any of you guys watching this out there who have a favorite comic book character that we didn't just mention? Um, mention it, mention it right now. Who's who's your favorite comic book character that maybe you'd want to see on the softball team? <clears throat> How about Iron Man? Come on. Now back to the box. Catfish Hunter Sands Beard. With cat first. Cat first. I've already got pulled the auto, so now. Hold the heads. Got the hunky Aaron Judge, though. All right, moving over back to the hockey, then I want to show off this rinkside signings. These are actually pretty cool, too. Yaroslav Halak. This is actually signed on acetate that is set inside the card and it's made to look like a hockey rink. Can you see that? That's kind of cool, huh? But it's see through. That's pretty neat. Upper Deck does a great job with hockey cards. They really do. They really do. Above and beyond. <sighs> Ah. <laughs> 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 so 
Somebody says, there was an Iron Man, but he never came back to play. Okay. I did not know that. The Condiment King? Who's that? Uh, That's the worst Lego, is that Lego Batman? That's somebody the says, Batman. let's see, Mavs Collector says, Nightwing. Evan says, The Thing and Hulk. Those are some, Hulk would be a good one. Uh, let's see. I like the Lex Luthor suggestion. He used a Captain Underpants one. Captain Underpants. <laughs> so you got both your autographs already, Mike? Yeah, they mm -hmm. came. Too big. They came early. I mean, you can still find some of those Jeter retrospectives, right? Yep. I mean, could you get two autographs plus a case hit in the box? Or does a case hit take the place of one of the autographs, do you think? That well, I'm not we'll sure. Out. Hopefully we'd find out, but... Lego Batman. <laughs> we do still have some tier one. We do still have some uh, museum in store right now. We do still have some Inception. People are asking what we have. Let's see. We're just fin we just finished up these two gentlemen here. Just finished up a uh, Topps Archives pack war. Um, and now they're opening up each a separate box. Mike's got uh, ice hockey. The other Mike is uh, finishing up a box of archives. And Michael Mondragon is thinking about what he's going to open. What do you think? What are, your, am, uh, what are your thoughts? I definitely am going to open up uh, that USA. Oh, you want the Stars and Stripes? Yeah. It's a good idea. Fourth of July. Absolutely, yeah. So we'll be doing that later. Good idea. Right on. So we got that to look forward to. <clears throat> Let's see, I'm going to come back over here to the archives. These archives are great. This is a throwback product that Topps does. This particular year of archives features three different card designs plus some Derek Jeter retrospective cards like that one. That's a nice one. Three different card designs are 1960. Let me see the 1960 design there. That's 80, 82, I believe. Which one is your 60? That's 60 right on the front, and then the other one's 92. Yes. 82, 92, and 60 are the three card designs they used. <clears throat> I do not have any MLB The Show codes. Um, they're kind of valuable, so any that we do have, I would uh, probably sell or... Um, give to uh, any uh, of our good customers or friends up at the shop here. I know a lot of the softball guys play MLB The Show, so I'd probably give it to them. So I'm sorry we don't have any codes. Uh, let's see. Ghost Stars says, can you show hits from Stars and Stripes? Sounds like we're going to be doing that in just a few moments, so hang tight. Easy one, two, three, as for Top's Finest. Uh... I only have one box of Topps Finest left in store right now, so I, I'm not going to crack that, unfortunately, right now. I'm going to hopefully sell it to somebody next week. $199. Yes, we do sell singles. Look at this. See all these glass cases we have here? I don't know if you can see the glass cases, but they're full of singles. Basketball, sorry, football singles, baseball singles. Here's some more baseball singles on this side. Here's some more baseball singles over here. Some vintage stuff. Look, there's a Piazza rookie. There's a 58 Topps Koufax. 57 Koufax. There's a 56 Willie Mays. There's a 62 Mickey Mantle. Some other nice cards down in here. So we do have some single cards, plus we have this uh, wall back here, which is uh, kind of our, for now, it's our vintage uh, library. We go from 1948 Bowman up there, all the way to 1980 Tops, and uh, it's mostly for anybody looking for cards to fill in sets, if you're building sets in those years. 
somebody comments about how they love our shirts so here's our shirts just so you guys know they come in three different colors right now my favorite color is this maroon i think it just looks cool on maroon but uh the dark green is the original hall of fame color right there and then uh had to get a navy blue that's just solid right there so if anyone wants a shirt we got shirts shirts are only 19.99 if you want an official Hall of Fame shirt, yes, we are an Arcadia landmark since 1981. Mike's setting up his camera. Somebody asked me, have Sky for Life, have you ever played a game with baseball cards, specifically stats, not destroying the cards? I'm not sure what you mean by destroying the cards. You mean like a like a like a card flipping contest or something, but um, I don't know what I don't know what you mean. I have not really played card uh, you know, sometimes we can do we can do pack wars and uh, you can uh, win the win the pack war by saying, "Okay, whoever has the, the card with the highest batting average." So that's a good way to play a game with statistics. You can say, "Whoever has the the card with the highest card number." You can say, "Whoever has the card with the tallest player." If you look at the player statistics on the back, you can say, "Oldest player." You can say, "Heaviest player." You can say, "Most steals, most strikeouts, lowest ERA, whatever." Yeah, you can play all sorts of games. <clears throat> Somebody's uh, somebody asked me if I could show off my Ricky Henderson personal collection. Uh, not today. No, not today. But sometime I will. I'd like to. I'd like to maybe do a, an actual uh, a Hall of Fame live video and show that off. Uh, been trying to get uh, Hall of Fame owner Bob Newton to to maybe uh, sit down and and let us interview him and he can talk show off some of his personal collection so we're figuring out some episodes for the future that'll be on our youtube channel in the future can't tell you when at this point um box of archives currently costs 129.99 per box that is the as far as we know uh the current market value for that product go stars thank you for the mustache compliment yes i've been uh, working on this thing very very long time I think it was part of my beard when I had my I started growing out my beard probably last October and then uh, I had a goatee for a while and I trimmed the goatee down and I had the handlebars and then I just trimmed the handlebars off and now I just have kind of like a what is this a Fu Manchu <laughs> some kind of a Fu Manchu with the double chin yeah it's working <laughs> um, so here, I feel like opening up a pack of cards myself right now. I'm gonna take a pack of this Donruss. You know why? Because it's red, white, and blue. <laughs> you wanna hold? Yeah. All right, check it out. 2017 Panini Donruss. Red, white, and blue. Kyle Schwarber. By the way, the Donruss Optic comes out in the next, uh, sometime in the next two weeks. And that product is gonna be sick. Uh, we're gonna do a case break. Four hot boxes in every case. Plus, uh, Panini is introducing the new, um, their new um, agreement with the Mickey Mantle Foundation. Mm -hmm. So they have exclusive wow. Mickey Mantle autographs and relics and cards in the Donruss Optic, starting with Optic this year. Tyler Glasnow, rookie. Eddie Murray. Edwin Encarnacion. And Runed Odor. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Does that sound good? Rognad. Rognad? I like Runed. Ask uh, Nolan Arenado. That one's for soup right there. Yeah. He likes that, that player. But yeah, that's Donruss. And then the Donruss Optic comes out uh, in a couple weeks. 
<clears throat> what else? What else is kind of patriotic here? Let's see. What's another patriotic brand? How about a uh, how about a pack of uh, Heritage? Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go cheap here. I'm gonna go with a retail pack of Heritage, just because. Heritage has the uh, 1968 tops design. Do you mind one more time? Sure. Let's see. Just to give people a look. Yeah. Carlos Ruiz. Curtis Granderson. This is the 1968 tops design right here. You might say it's part of America's heritage. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> look at this, Craig Cusick. Look at the glasses and mustache <laughs> combo on this guy. <laughs> that guy does not look athletic. Hitting coach, bullpen coach, nope. First base, DH. Yes. Oh, of course. <laughs> yep. He doesn't have right. to go too far <laughs> from the dugout. Exactly. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, here's a Dodgers. National League. Oh, was that when uh, what's his name hit the home run? I was at that game. What was his name? He's not on, even on the team right now anymore. Does it say on the back? I totally forget. Uh, um, no. Um, um, oh gosh! Somebody tell me what's that player's name? Who hit? That's not. That's not Ethier, is it? No. No, he hit the the. Uh, Game-winning, NLCS-winning Culber, home run Culber, at Dodger Culber, Stadium Culberson? last year. Culberson, thank uh, you. Charlie Culberson. Good Lord, I'm getting old. I'm at least 170 years old. <laughs> oh, Jesus, Danny Espinosa. You want that card? Is that what you're saying? Not a, no. <laughs> They're going to rename the Mendoza line the Espinosa line. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Peralta. Do you want a Johnny Peralta card for your sure? Why not for your Cardinals yeah, collection? Yeah, he's no longer a Cardinal. But oh, he's not. No, hmm. he got DFA this year. That's too bad. Well, that's uh, Topps Heritage right there. This is my favorite card. Actually, these two, these two are my favorite cards yeah. in this pack. Rediscover. <laughs> like the actual original card. Yeah. So let's see. Let's see. Are you guys thinking about getting into something else? Uh, no, I gotta get going here. You want me to we charge you? Up? Yeah. Charge you up? Okay. Charge it up. Uh, let's see. Mike, do you want to show people around for a minute while I while I ring sure. them up? Do you mind? Sure. And then I'll take it off your hands. You, can, uh, you got it. Continue doing. Maybe feel free to narrate if you want. Okay. <laughs> right on. So let me actually. This is some of the yeah, new product. Oh, that's right. Peralta is a Red Sox. You got picked up by the Red Sox. You're absolutely right. So series one, series two, here's some of the archives that we opened up earlier, some of the blaster boxes, Bowman, which I really like Bowman a lot, a lot of cool cards in that set. Uh, what else we got up here, this is a more high-end product up here. Cody Bellinger is that was fun. pretty was awesome. Can't uh, can't deny him. He yeah. definitely should have been an All Star this year. So I was really that's glad to see that because he is something special. Yeah, Hill. Damn. And some the, you here's some of the older product. That right there too. 2016 Stadium. As short or as long as you want. Coming up a week, a week from Friday is our next trade night. Adult Pack Wars.
Man, if Justin Turner doesn't make it, I, there's something wrong with baseball, man. He is awesome. He's been awesome for the Dodgers. So, and uh, unfortunately, as much as I agree with uh, Kenley Jansen, I don't think it's the, the fans' fault, actually. Um, Dodgers, actually, you know, Dodgers and Angels, you can't see either of those teams here. Uh, you know, the... the the baseball market is really bad on TV here. The fans actually can't see these players, so it, there's, it's going to be like that. There's no way to promote getting... Uh, Justin Turner should have been on there. Actually, Joey Votto went on the this big... All right, take care, man. Nice to meet you as well. Joey Votto went on this thing and actually bought Zach Kozart a dunk to get him on the team. I mean, that's awesome. I mean, that's the fun stuff that you do. You can't do that here. You can't, there's no TV, so. Uh, let's see here. Speaking of which, here's all the, all the Dodger singles, some baseballs, and Check it out. I think most of the guys trade baseball cards, but yeah. there's, you know, you've met John Lou here before, I think, probably. Yeah. yeah. Big hockey guy, so he might. Yeah. If he does, we'll, we'll see. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Eric, man. Happy Fourth. Appreciate yeah, it. Same to you. Glad you stopped by. Oh, absolutely. Take care. Nice to meet you. Hey. See you, Mike. Take care, man. See you, everybody. Yep. Yeah, there they go. There they go. What time is it right now? So, here, let's see. I'm back. All right, we're back. Michael is setting up for something. What are you setting up for? Just to tape what we're going to break. Okay. And, uh, so you can keep that going if you like. That'd be uh, no okay, problem. Okay, cool. Just wanted to get a couple angles over. He's He's getting some serious camera angles. Watch <laughs> this. So he's got this pretty sweet-looking camera here that he wants to film with. Look at this thing. It's pretty futuristic. And then he's got this little thing right here for maybe like the overhead shot. That's just a cell phone it looks like, but he's got this dope little holder for it and this little handle. And then there's some drumsticks here, which we're not gonna be filming me playing drums. Not this time, maybe another time. Um, maybe I'll open up another pack of cards here just for fun. Let's see if there's anything that jumps off here we go this is what i want to open up tops pro debut let's see if we can pull that tim tebow short print right now oh, that'd be fun. that would be fun let's see you want to hold it again yeah. okay i can get out my little uh, clamp too that's all good tops pro debut this features players in their minor league uniforms and minor for, with their minor league teams but you can find tebow you can find bellinger you can find Josh Naylor. I don't even know her. <laughs> um, Matt Dice. Yep, I've seen both these players this year already. Hey, what do you think about going to see Mike Trout out in uh, San Bernardino when he rehabs? Uh, that would be awesome. You interested? I, I'd love, okay, love that. I might be interested. 
uh, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Yep. playing for the Bluefield Blue Jays. Yep. This kid could be huge. He'll be in the in the uh, futures game. Yeah, there we go. Oh, this card's backwards. What do you think that means? Well, I hope it means it's, it's numbered out of ninety nine. Yeah, yeah, hopefully twenty one of ninety nine. Delvin Perez. Yeah, there it is. it is. Look at that. One pack. One auto. Ooh. It's a green autograph. Cardinals, Delvin Perez. Do you know anything about him? I do. He was actually busted for steroids right before the draft. Oh, no. And dropped down considerably, and the Cardinals took him, and actually it's probably going to be the steal of the draft. Really? Yeah. He's uh, he's super skinny, but he... He doesn't look like he's on steroids. Nah, he, he, he's super... He's too thin, but um, this actually was kind of a, a sleeper pick for the Cardinals. They, they actually took a lot of heat for signing him. Crazy. So, yeah, so I'm actually very interested in that card. Would you be interested? In this I, I card. Okay, would. okay. Uh, that card is yours now, officially. So is this Dylan Carlson. Yeah, he's also a good player, too. These are both of my gifts to you oh, yeah. from this pack. Ronald Acuna. Acuna Matata. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and Afrini Greer. Well, that's pretty good. Look at that, huh? Yeah. A little autograph. Delvin Perez uh, was on steroids. Apparently not anymore. <laughs> And he's in the Cardinals farm system somewhere. This card is yours, Mike. Hey, I say, if you're not cheating, you're not trying. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Put those right there for you. Thanks, See, sir. Jiu Jitsu Jake says, I found a Bellinger Triple A card in Topps debut. Yes, you can find Bellinger. Omar says he wants that Vladimir. What's up, Omar? I think I still got a card over here waiting for you. Yes. Right here, buddy. Remember you wanted this Josh Dumal card? Come on in. Let's see. Someone says crack a Bowman's best. I don't have too many of those left, so I'm not going to do that. Mm, let's see. Maybe I'll turn around over to this side and see if anything's jumping off of the wall. Here we go. Let's do 2015 Tops Update. Because it's red, white, and blue box. But let's go jumbo. Let's go with this jumbo pack right on the top here. These are $15 packs. We have one autograph and two relic cards in every box. Chance to find rookies like Carlos Correa, Noah Syndergaard, Chris Bryant, Joey Gallo, and Jock Peterson. Also Addison Russell. Um, and maybe some autographs from some of those guys too. This is a nice little thick 50-card pack. 2015 tops. Red, white, and blue. Awesome. Do you mind? No, not a bit. Let's check it out. This one was sitting right on top inside that box. Let's see if there happens to be anything good in it. Look at all these cards that come in here. Wow. 50 cards. Uh, this is one of my favorite card styles of tops in the last 10 years. I did a lot of color. What's up, guys? They did a lot of color on this this particular year. And there's an Addison Russell rookie. Nice. Thompson Tim Cooney rookie. Seth Smith. Sean O'Sullivan. Jeff Francoeur. Paulo Orlando. Kyle Kendrick. I love the purple on that border That's there. Nice. It's so cool looking. Mickey Matuk, or is that Mikey? I'm not sure. I haven't heard of that guy. Juan Uribe, beast. Chris Bryant, home run derby rookie card. Look at that. That's a pretty nice pull from one pack. Addison Russell and a Chris Bryant rookie. And a Clayton Kershaw, all-star game. Look at that hat he's wearing. Yeah. This is a great pack right here. What a great idea. Happy 4th of July. Cole Hamels, good pitcher. Yadier Molina, all-star game. Oh, this yeah. is what I like about Topps Update. They have a lot of the all-star game inserts. <clears throat> a lot of the home run derby inserts. 2017 Topps Update will feature Cody Bellinger, official Topps rookies and rookie autographs. So look forward to that. Unfortunately, that won't be out till October. Ryan Braun. I'm going to put that in my Ryan Braun <laughs> stack. That's kind of an inside joke with me and a buddy here. Norichika Aoki. That's a great name. 
Nori, cool. Nori Aoki. And as I like to say, when you ever, whenever you come here, please try the Nori Aoki. It's delicious. <laughs> it's delicious. That's a great photo. I like it a lot. And then a Ken Griffey Jr. 93 highlight. Hits home runs in eighth straight game. And then we have a Noma Garcia Para rookie sensations card. This is a good pack right here. Then we have a gold Rick Porcello. This should be numbered out of 2015. Yes, it is. Right there in the upper right corner. Number 211. We have a Jim Palmer. This is an insert called Whatever Works. He ordered apparently pancakes for pre-game breakfast. Let's see if it... Let's see. Every morning that Jim ate pancakes during the 1966 World Series, the Orioles won. The 20-year-old right-hander knew not to mess with what worked. Palmer became quite a regular flapjack eater, earning the nickname Cakes while compiling eight career 20-win seasons. Jim Palmer, boom. Pete Gray, that's a nice old-school card there. Does he only have one arm? Uh, no, it, not that I'm aware of. But it that, that looks, looks like he only has one arm. Let's see what it says on the back. Oh, my God. Huh? Pete Gray, known for his speed and place-hitting ability, played outfield for the oh St. Louis God. Browns. In 45, he was the first MLB player to play with one arm opening the door for other major leaguers with physical challenges. Racking up 51 hits in his 77 MLB games, Gray was an inspiration to veterans with disabilities returning from World War II. That is a I rad card. no knowledge of that. Do you that's want a, this card? That'd be fantastic. Absolutely. That's awesome. I know you're a St. Louis guy, uh, yeah. so that's a good card for your collection. St. Louis Browns are now the... Don't quiz me like that. I just don't know. Baltimore Orioles. Okay. <laughs> Do you want that, though, for your Yeah, PC? absolutely. Cool. That's a great one. Cool. And we have uh, an original, Topps original, Mike Garman. Happens to be a Dodger. Nice little mustache. Cool. Yeah. This is 1978 Topps, I believe. Yep. Yes, it is. That was the year I was possibly born. <laughs> possibly? <laughs> Rumored? The potent Padres. We've got Jonathan Papelbon, All-Star. We've got Burgos and a Hernandez, rookie, dual rookie. That's kind of a cool card. Yeah, that's cool. We've got Steven, how do you pronounce his last name? Vote. Vote for Justin Turner in the All-Star Game. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, another dual rookie, Jack Peterson rookie. Wow. Nice. So we've gotten so many rookies in here, including Jack Peterson and Chris Bryant. What a huge pack. And a Cespedes. And a Benuelos, don't know him. And a Todd Frazier, home run derby. Did he win that year? It looks yeah, like he won. Yeah, he did. That's nice. Yeah, hometown at that time. Hayward, Eduardo Rodriguez, rookie. Josh Fields. I like the blue with the orange writing. Jose Iglesias, Billy Burns, Kevin Segrist, Escobar, Yasmani Grandal, another Dodger. Oh. Love it. I saw him uh, tie the game for the Angels uh, against the Angels and lose the game against the Angels. <laughs> and that can happen in baseball. <laughs> That's right. Francisco Lindor, rookie, to end the pack. That is huge. What a huge pack that was yeah, from 2015 fun. tops. Boom. Hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. That's awesome. Thank you for holding that. Mm -hmm. On Instagram Live, say hi. Hi. Introduce yourself. I'm Grant. Grant, what's happening? How old are you, Grant? Um, 12. 12. And are you wearing an all-star hat right now? Yeah. What league do you play for? Uh, Santa Anita. Santa Anita Little League. What field? Is that at uh, Lojeski. Lojeski Field? Do you know I grew up with uh, Jeff Lojeski? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, what's your name again? My name's Mark. Mark, what's up? Good to have you guys back in. Glad to be here. Cool. Just having fun on Instagram. I was opening up some random packs, seeing what's going on. What do you think you're going to get today? Um, well, what do you saw, think? I saw the thing on Instagram for the free pack. If you come in and mention the story, and he does. He comes in and mentions the story. Oh, let's see what. You know what? Here's what I'm going to give you. I want to give you one of these red, white, and blue Donruss packs. Boom. 
Fourth of July for Grant. There it is. Thank you. Happy Fourth of July. Thanks for coming in today. Taking a question for you. Yeah. I was wondering what um, a Kurt Gibson 1988 card would be worth if, if it's a special card or not really. Mm, unfortunately, probably not much. 88 yeah. was a highly mass produced year. Because he hit that uh, dinger in the World Series. He did, but yeah. uh, you know, it wasn't like his rookie card. Even his rookie card's only worth like five bucks. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's probably just worth a few bucks, you know? 88 tops, probably. Yeah. yeah. Dollar, two dollars. Well, it's worth more than that to me. Exactly, <laughs> and that's collecting right there. Dominic says he feels like taking out a mortgage and sitting in our shop all day. You know what, Dominic? Uh, you would not be the only one that feels that way. <clears throat> Niner card collector, what's up? Uh, Bernie, I believe, right? Happy fourth to you, brother. Hope you guys are having a fun one. Makes me want to watch Weekend at Bernie's now. That's one of my favorite movies of all time. <laughs> Any kids out there, go watch the movie Weekend at Bernie's today. It's a great holiday film. It really is. Summertime, a couple of jokers, and a dead man. Hilarity ensues. Let's see. So let's go back here. I might open up here i'm gonna open up a pack of donruss optic just because i told you guys that the new optic is going to be coming out in a couple weeks so i'm going to show you what last year's optic looked like bring it over here where the reception is better oh you guys want to check out yeah okay hold on okay um here, I'm gonna let Grant open this. Do you wanna open this and show the folks on Instagram what's what the Donner's optic looks like? Here we go. All right. This is Grant and he's gonna show you guys Donner's optic. This uh, this is 2016 pack, but the 2017 comes out in just a, a, a couple of weeks. And they're beautiful cards. Yeah, so show them kind of slow here. Let's go through each player. Who's the first player? Price. David Price. Nice. Uh, Cabrera. Ooh, Miguel Cabrera. Illusion. That's a nice card. Rookie Bird. Ooh, rated rookie. Greg Bird. That looks like a refractor. Uh, rookie Peraza. And a rated rookie, Jose Peraza. Fan those out for me. Let's show them all there. Yeah, let's see this uh, Illusion card again. These are great, nice cards. This is Panini. Now, a lot of people don't like Panini because they don't have the MLB license, and so they have to airbrush the logos out of the pictures. But you can't argue with the fact that they make beautiful cards. So consider collecting Panini. I have one minute remaining on my uh, broadcast right now. So uh, with one minute remaining, I'm going to uh, stand by for now. I'm going to help Grant do some checking out. We're going to set up some more camera work here. And then we'll be back shortly uh, to open up some more products. It's 4th of July. Michael Mondragon is here. We're going to get into some stuff. Uh, check back with us maybe in a few more minutes. So we will talk to you all then. Come back. Some more hanging out happening soon right here. Hall of Fame.